Dogs will bark because it's the job of the dogs to bark. But the caravan still continues. Hmm? We're on that caravan. Alhamdulillah. Yes, we're in the caravan of the king. We're in the caravan of the sultan. The dogs, they will bark. We're not going to stop the caravan to bark back at us because we're not dogs. We are humans. No need all of this. We are not dogs, we are humans. So, the dogs, they will bark. They have been barking about Shah Effendi when he was alive too, for years, for decades. He never stopped to bark back at them, not even once. So we are not going to stop to bark back at them. Because we are following the caravan of a king. And we are Osmanlis and we have a honor. So let them to say whatever that they want to say. Those ones who are saying too, if we say to them one by one what you mean, they cannot say what they mean. A king, is our sheikh is a king? Yes, he is. He's coming from the lineage of the sultans. He's coming from the lineage of the padishah. He's coming from the lineage of the emperor of the Ottoman uh, Empire. Sultan Mehmed Fatih was his great, 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 great grandfather. It flows in him. <laughs> he is not just claiming it. You see him one time, you sit in his presence, you know you're not sitting in the presence of a normal man. You're not sitting in the presence of a normal scholar or an imam or a sheikh. He is something much greater than that. So those ones who are saying those things, definitely they've never been in his presence. I don't blame you. If you don't know the sun and you're closing your eyes, no matter how we describe to you how the sun is, you will not know because you are blind. Open your eyes, then you start seeing. Yeah. A cult? Yes, they may say that. They also said it about Isa alayhi salam. The Yahudis, they said about Isa alayhi salam too. They say you're starting a cult. A teaching of a group of people that is not mainstream and <coughs> deviation good we are a deviation if the majority is following the way of battle of falsehood then yes we deviate from that majority and our deviation is to hack that's all <laughs> alhamdulillah they're saying that to Holy Prophet, they said, so salam too. They say, you're starting a cult. You're gathering all these young people and you're telling them, don't obey your uh, fathers and your mothers, isn't it? You're saying that. <laughs> and they say that, don't obey your fathers or mothers. Don't follow your people. Don't follow your tribe. Come and follow me. Go up to the mountains. Go up to a separate city. Ah, so we're saying, subhanAllah, Sheikh Effendi, is doing that too. Sheikh Effendi is not taking an opportunity always when there is a, a big shot, always if there is a politician, always if there is a member of parliament, uh, to always, oh, I must go and take a picture, I must shake his hand, so the whole world knows I am also with him. He's not running for those, he has never, uh, we're not to, alhamdulillah. We're happy doing what we want. Call whatever it is you want to say. They said that about all the prophets. They say that about the holy prophet, they said to us, salam. And they're saying that about our holy sultan. Yes, definitely. They're calling that about Shem of Lana too. That you're following a cult. Do we care? We don't care. They're saying that about Sahib Saif. They say we're following a cult. We don't care. We worship our Shah. Hmm. The same way. We worship <coughs> our prophet. We worship our sheikh. <laughs> Which one of us worship our prophet? None. But we love him, correct? Same way. Which one of us worship our sheikh? None. We love him. As Hazrat Abu Bakr is saying, because so many people at that time when Holy Prophet passed also, they're saying he's dead. He's dead. Don't follow him anymore. You see, it's not true. You see, everything is going to fall. Same way they're saying. Hmm? So Hazrat Abu Bakr, 
even saying to Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Umar was so upset because so many people, the fitna immediately started to enter that time. He drew his sword out and he says, whoever said that, that the Prophet is dead, I'm going to kill you. Hazrat Abu Bakr is saying, calm down, Ya Umar, calm down. Then he mounted the minbar and he's saying, whoever worship Muhammad, والسلام, know that Muhammad is dead. Whoever worships Allah, know that Allah is Hayu and Qayyum, alive and is always sustaining himself. He doesn't need anything to keep him alive. Whoever worship Prophet, know that he's dead. Whoever worship Allah, know that he is living. Who is worshipping Allah? Everyone is worshipping Allah. That Allah is living. Who is worshipping Prophet? No one is worshipping Prophet. Ever? You ever hear any Sahabis worshipping Prophet, saying that Prophet is Allah? Never. 1400 years, have we ever hear a single group of Muslims who say that Prophet is Allah? Never. Yeah, we have Muslims saying that Ali is Allah. I'm saying to those Shias there. Yes, they are saying that Ali is Allah. Some they are saying Ali is supposed to be Prophet. That Hazrat Jibreel made a mistake. Then instead of giving it to Hazrat Ali, he gave it to Hazrat Peygamber Effendi. Some they are saying Prophet said to Salam, he was holding the trust of the Nubuat from Hazrat Ali, but he decided not to give to him. So many stories. That is Shiism. That is Shia. They make so much fitna. Yeah, leave them. They need another Yaw Sultan Selim who is going to come to break their necks. Amen. Yes. Amen. Like the Ottomans did. They broke their necks. They broke their back. And it's never going to enter because they bring so many confusion also from there. And the allies together with don't look from the outside, from the behind, the allies also with the enemies of Islam. Outside they say, oh, we hate this, we bring them down, they are down. Uh, behind all the dealings they made from that time until now, is <coughs> continuing, understanding? So, don't worry, another Yaw Sultan Salim is going to come. Hazrat Mahdi alayhi salam, yes, he's going to come and he's going to draw out that sword. That time we have to be very careful, because that sword... Is going to strike those who are going to be enemies of the Prophet. <coughs> so, a cult, you may say, we don't care. You think that we're worshipping to our Shaykh? Yes, the same way we worship our Prophet. But no one is worshipping our Prophet, so we are not worshipping our Shaykh. What do we do? We love him. We're saying that, yes, he is alive. Because the uh, Martyrs, those who uh, are killed in the way of Allah, they are fresh and they are alive. They are not dead. Allah Himself is saying. So Hazrat Abu Bakr is saying for those who understand, if you worship Him, know that He is dead. But if you don't worship Him, the opposite is true. If you don't worship Him, know that He is alive. He is Hazir and He is Nazir. He's everywhere. And he's always <coughs> warning and taking care of us. That is the Prophet that we love. That is the Prophet that we give our allegiance to. And those ones who are following completely in his footsteps, same way. Inshallah Rahman. So, good luck to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.